Okay, so I am back today with some more organizing and I guess you'd call it spring cleaning. Okay, so today what I'm doing is cleaning off this bookshelf that's in my office. So I already removed all of the books you see that were kind of just hanging out in a messy way on this shelf. And I'm not sure if you can see from this point of view, but the shelf is very, very dusty. So I'm going to, today I have these cloths, I just have two of them here. So one I will be using to just dust off the bookshelf itself. Okay. And then I'm going to just go through all of these books and I will keep the ones that I want to keep. Just sort of show them to you a little bit. And I will probably need to clean some of them off because they collect a lot of dust as well. Okay, so I'm going to get started with cleaning off the shelf first. Okay, so I'm just going to use a little bit of water here on this cloth. I hope that this view is okay. Also, to try something a little different. I thought it was kind of cool for you to be a little more up close with the books. <laughs> Who doesn't love books? I would like to get a better shot of me. Uh, cleaning the shelf. Maybe I can add that in a little later. is just a smaller sized shelf. I've had this one for a while. I usually just keep things like um, textbooks that I don't want to get rid of, uh, different kinds of like just reference books and things like that. I have another shelf that is out in the living room. I don't know. I don't um, have to go through all of them because I think a lot of them I don't really need to keep. So let's see how I will organize these here. Let's see. This one, this is a little tiny book. It's just sort of a fun book. It's um, Sue Sisms for Success. So 
So I had gone to a used bookstore and I just grabbed some that a lot of these books that I have I get to put in videos. I don't know, I just thought this one was a cute little thing. Let's see. Just has little quotes. Young cat, if you keep your eyes open enough, oh, the stuff you will learn. The most wonderful stuff. There's just little things like that in there. So that one I am going to keep. This one... I think for now I'm just going to sort of place them on here and then see how I need to uh, organize them. Let's give a little spray. I don't want to soak the books sort of dust them off lightly. This one is The Girl on the Train. Oh, I already read this one a long time ago. This is by Paula Hawkins. Okay. I remember that I enjoyed this one. Since I've read it already, I don't really need to keep it, but I actually don't really remember the whole story. Maybe I'll read it again, I don't know. This one we'll just hold on to for now. And then we have this one here. It's kind of dusty. I have so many books that I have not read. Okay. Looks like maybe the pages have started to yellow a little bit. This one is an interesting one. This is The Man from the Train. Girl on the train and the man from the train. But this is a completely different story. This one is Discovering America's Most Elusive Serial Killer. Okay, so it's uh it's a true crime book. And I don't know, I started reading it, but never finished. But I'm definitely going to keep this one. Um, this will be a different category that's true crime. And here's some of the books that I got from the bookstore, like I said. This is a textbook, and I actually used this for a video already. This one is on um, business, topic of business. And I did a role play with this book. Um, I pretended I was, you know, the instructor for this uh, college course. And we went through the content of this book. So I picked this up at that used store um, only to make a video with it. But I can still use it because I've only gone through the contents pages of the book. So and that took almost a whole hour. 
sort of explaining the contents. I just love books. <laughs> so I'm going to keep this one a nice textbook. Okay. This one here is another that I liked from that store. This one is called The Literate Cat. A photographic celebration of cats. Okay, so it's mostly a picture book. But and it's got little poems with and uh, different stories with many of the pictures. Sure, how well you can see from this point of view. So, this one I have not really looked at all the way myself yet. So, I'll definitely keep this one. I thought maybe I'd use that one in a video sometime besides this one. I'm gonna put this with the Sue Sisms book. And here I have another textbook. This one is on algebra. My favorite subject. I love, love math. Especially algebra. Yes, call me crazy. It was always my uh, favorite subject in school. And um, I got this one thinking I would make a video, of course, going over some math problems. Okay or something like that, maybe like a tutor, role play, something like that. Okay, so at some point in time this one will show up in another video. This is an old book. It doesn't even mine. Um, I think it was like I don't know, someone in my family's, and I did read it when this came out. I remember it was a popular, popular book. Um, Tuesdays with Maury. The five people you meet in heaven. It's a short little book, so it was pretty easy to read. Or someone 
else in my house. Maybe we'll decide to pick it up and take a look. So this one I'll put with the fiction here. Okay, this one I know I also used in a video from a long time ago. Well, not that long, but one of my first videos, I think. Okay, this one is... The Secret Lives of Color. So I know I used this one talking about the reason why I bought it. And I also think that I did one with like just book sounds, no talking. one talks about different colors and all of the different like shades in that category and it sort of gives a, a history and information about the colors so it's sort of interesting lead white Let's see chrome yellow. So that's um, it's a nice book. You see all the different colors it goes through. The Unforgettable Unknown History of Colors and the Vivid Stories Behind Them. This one I like and I will keep and we'll put this one here with um, hmm, I'll put it with the literate cat. Okay. And then this one here. I also got I do enjoy these uh, picture books. Uh, this one I got from Five Below, Life with Father, and I got this one also, of course, to possibly use in a video. Just love all these photographs and a little bit quotes and things like that. There's lots of different images of fathers with their children. So I thought that was a nice book. Maybe one of these days we'll be able to go through this one. Okay. So this one, um, I will also put this with the literate cat. I'm sure these will all get moved around. Essential Oils Source Book. I think I bought this um, a 
actually for myself, not for a video, was when, um, you know, I know people have been using essential oils forever and ever, but it was sort of when they first started becoming popular with everyone. Now everyone uses essential oils. So I got this to try and sort of, you know, just have for reference. Um, I didn't know anything about all of the different benefits of different oils. And I got really into, you know, going to, I used to go to this, um, like sort of a natural store where they sell all different nice oils and different like organic products. Um, so I used to be sort of obsessed with going in there and just even just looking at everything that they had. But so I have had this book. I haven't looked at it in a long time. Okay, so this one is more like a reference book, so I'm going to just put that for now with the textbooks. Okay, so this one I just used pretty recently in a video, the book of personality tests. I'm not sure if I really showed the book. I just sort of did one of the tests in the video, sort of like role play style. So it's a small book. I think I got it from Five Below. And there's a bunch of different tests in here. I think I just went over one of them. So I'm sure we'll come back to this one. At some point, let's see, this one, we'll put that, we'll just put it with the reference books for now. There's another that I'm pretty sure I've used in a couple of videos. This is all about yoga exercises. 501 yoga exercises. Okay, so I use this one myself sometimes. And I'm um, pretty sure that I used it on a few uh, videos. The tree pose. So it just um, shows how to perform some of the poses and gives you information on the benefits and correct form for each one. Okay, so this one I'll definitely keep. Put that with the reference. Coming down to the end of this pile, I still have so many here. I'm not sure if you can see all of them. I have like five more piles of books here. So I'm going to have to get rid of some of them. Um, I just have a... I have a, a paper bag behind me that I'm going to uh, put the ones I'm not going to keep. I will just donate donate those, I guess, to a thrift store or whatever. Okay. Here's another that I recently used in a video. All about stretching. 
sort of similar to the yoga book. This one is a nice book. I love, I love stretching. And this one gives you um, a lot of different stretches and it tells you all of the different muscles that are being stretched um, with each, each one. And gives you, it gives you a lot of different information about the stretch, the correct way to perform the stretch, and it also in the back it gives you different uh, like like it will go over different terms in the back that you might find throughout the book with definitions and then this part's pretty helpful in the back it gives a certain like ailment or even just a sport like let's say baseball and it will name like five good stretches for that sport or whatever problem that you might be experiencing. I just recommend certain stretches. So this is a really nice book. I like how it's kind of simple and I like how it's organized. It's easy to go through. So this one I'll definitely keep. We'll go with the the yoga book. Okay. And here's another that you might recognize. The ultimate decorating book. So this one I uh, think I got it from the library selling books and got this one only to use in a video. I love these large sized books. Just love them. Hardback. And this one I used for an interior design role play video. But I'm sure that I did not go through the book very much. I think I just sort of used it as a prop in the video. So of course I'm going to keep this one. Come back to it for something in the future for a video. So I'll definitely be keeping this one. And that one down there with those. So now we're getting to see more fiction. Here's a, one of my many Stephen King books that I have. I don't think I'll ever get rid of any of my Stephen King books. This is a book of short stories. Everything's eventual. I haven't read all of the, the stories in this one. I need to stop buying books until I start reading the ones that I have. I have read some of these. It's 14 Dark Tales. I can see it's all sort of yellow.
pages. I've had it for a long time. Okay. So this one will go with the fiction. This one, I'm not sure where it came from. Maybe one of the kids brought it home from school or something. Looks sort of like a little kid's book. It's The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Also looks pretty old. The yellow pages. Maybe it's been sitting at their school for a long time and the teacher sometimes just gives the kids books to just keep. Okay, so it's uh, really short. Maybe I'll read it sometime in a video or something. You can see the print is kind of larger, maybe for a, an older kid, maybe. Okay, so this one I'll be keeping. We'll put that with the fiction books. Here's another. I think this is like a classic book. It's by Sherwood Anderson, Winesburg, Ohio. And I know that I bought this book a long time ago. I don't know if I bought it for like a literature course. I was taking when I was in school. I really don't remember. And I cannot remember if I even read the whole thing. I don't know. Um, yep. Looks like it's from, from school. Um, I don't know if I'll keep this one. I need to get rid of some of them. Not sure if anyone has read this. It's so hard for me to get rid of books. Well, I'll hold on to this one for now. Go with the fiction. And another Stephen King. We have The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon. Okay, so this one I will be keeping. Okay, this one's not very long. for my son, Owen, who ended up teaching me a lot more about the game of baseball than I ever taught him. That's the dedication page. Okay, so there's my Stephen King. We'll probably end up um, just keeping all of my Stephen King together in some way. Okay, now these don't really belong on my bookshelf. These are like um, activity books. Not sure how they ended up in here. The big book of Search and Find. These are cute little games. I'll probably put it out like in the living room or something. Maybe someone will decide to just pick it up and start, you know, doing some of the puzzles in it. And now we have to find all of the things that are listed to find them in the picture. That's kind of fun. I'm sure the kids will do that. So this one I'll put 
over to the side for later. Let's see. Some notebooks. So my husband always was buying these books about different, um, you know, like home improvement things. This is all about different porch styles and constructing porches. So I don't know if he still wants this. I would like to just get rid of it. Of course, every book I think, oh, let me keep it for a video. Just don't have enough room for so many of these things that I want to save for future videos, but this one I might keep, but I won't keep in here on the bookshelf. Okay. And some more like that. This one's all about sheds and garages. He probably wants to keep We'll have to uh, put it somewhere where he can have it, <laughs> not me. Different designs for sheds and things like that. So it's gonna go. Okay, so that one we'll put somewhere else. one in this pile is another carpentry book. Not sure. Looks like he got these at like a, one of those stores, kind of like a big lots or something like that. Goes over different types of tools. I probably should read this book. Hmm, okay. Different, um, let's see. The names of all the tools, that's kind of helpful. I wish I knew how to um, build things. <laughs> I feel like if I knew, I'd be doing that all the time to my but I know nothing about construction, building things. So, we'll hold on to that one. Alright, so now I will... Let me see if I should change the view of the camera a bit. Because I'm kind of sitting in a weird position. <laughs> And um, we'll start on the next pile of books. Okay, so it is another day. I had to sort of take a pause, sorry, from uh, the recording of this video. Okay. So I'm just going to move right on. So these next books here. I actually bought these again for a video. So these I got at a thrift store. I was looking for some books for a library video. So I wanted some sort of older books. So this one is uh, Sherlock Holmes, The Case Book of Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Okay, so I've never read anything um, in the Sherlock Holmes uh, series, I guess you'd call it. 
This one is Memoirs of Sherlock Holmes. These look like um, books that you might find in a library. So these, let's see. I guess are these all short stories? Not sure. Or are these just chapters? I'm not sure if these are all separate stories in here. Or this one is The Valley of Fear. Okay, so we a little card in here. Hmm, something about magic. Okay. The Valley of Fear, Chapter One. These will likely show up again. And let's see, just kind of, okay, so I'm just kind of placing these on the shelf. I'm not going to leave them where they are. I guess at the end of the video I will do some organizing on the, on the shelf. So here's another book related to color. Where did I get this one? I got this one at the used bookstore. Again, many of these books are things I bought that I thought would be useful for um, videos. Inspirational palettes for designing home interiors. So this one's a little different than the uh, color book. Let's see, so this one sort of helps you to choose different color schemes for your room and it does describe different moods that each color might invoke. Okay, so that one might be interesting, more like a role play type video, interior design. It shows different colors that look good with each other. Okay, so this one, just put that here. Okay, then I have See, this was a good book that I read. Another by Ruth Ware. That's The Lying Game. I read this one not very long ago. I don't know, I guess I must have just had a little bit of time at some point. This was the kind of book where you can just keep on going with it. It was interesting and, you know, just a fiction book. But it's kind of, you know, you wanted to find out what was going to happen next. The rules are simple. Tell a lie, stick to your story, and never ever get caught. So that's a fiction book. We will pop that up there. 
there. See, I have so many. So this one is one that my mom just gave to me. Sometimes she gives me books that she has read. She's all done with. Um, this is a true story. This is called 438 Days. It's the true story of a man that was lost at sea for, I guess, 438 days. And it's kind of um, strange because I actually made a video where I read the account of this story from a Reader's Digest uh, issue. And for some reason I never published the video, but I have it made and everything. So I'm not sure if I'll read this because I already know the whole story. So uh, I'm just going to kind of put this one to the side for now. Okay. Let's see. Here's another Stephen King. This one is Revival. This one I did start reading. It's longer. That's a longer one. But I never finished it. I have so many books that are half read. Maybe that's my bookmark. who fits none of these categories comes into your life. This is the Joker, who pops out of the deck at odd intervals over the years, often during a moment of crisis. In the movies, this sort of character is known as the fifth of business. Okay. So this one needs to... Over here with all my Stephen King. Then here I have all of these books about um, just learning Spanish. This is like one of those sets that has the CD that comes along with it. Week three. I uh, went week by week. I was using these. Pretty helpful. Has this little case they came in. This one's very old. Um, I guess I will keep that. It's week three. Nursing implications. This 
one. So these I'll keep forever. This one's one for school also. Handbook for writers. I'm sure that was like English comp course or something. Don't really need this one anymore. Um, I should probably give that one away. Let's see, this one I've used a couple of times. Uh, Tabor's Cyclopedic Medical Dictionary. Of course, I won't get rid of this one. It's, it has those really nice, uh, very thin. Pages. So I'm sure this will show up again in a video at some point. Put this over here for now. Okay. What is this one? Fundamentals. For success. The thing about uh, another nursing textbook. I don't think I'll use this, but it has questions. Oh goodness. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to keep all of my nursing books. This is probably outdated. BLS book, so I... I guess I'll get rid of this one. It's probably very old. This is one of my husband's um, Essentials of Exercise um, Science for Fitness Professionals Not sure if he wants this or not okay, I'll just put that with the medical type things Okay, so, um, kind of changed the view. These I'm going to just kind of quickly go over. And, um, then we'll move on to placing them on the shelf a little bit, okay? So I have these two more here. These are more nursing textbooks that um, I know that I've used. This one I may not have used. This one is uh, Maternal Newborn Nursing and Women's Health Care. So I'm sure I will use this at some point. I love reading, you know, making videos with sort of this... Um, you know, learning aspect. It's interesting. Okay, so that's one. And this one I did use in a video. This is the fundamentals of nursing. So, uh, there's so much information in here. I only did one video using this textbook and I read a little bit of uh, the section on fever and temperature like regulation I guess I forget how much of it I read but so there's so much in here to to read and if you ever think of maybe a topic on uh, nursing or medical related thing, just uh, let me know and I will look for it. 
and read about it. Okay. So that's another one I'll definitely hold on to. Invisible Gorilla. This one was given to me. I think my mom read it. My mom has tons and tons of books. She loves to read. It's old. I don't think I read this one, but I just kind of... Uh, I kind of know what it's about. Um, how our intuitions deceive us. Lots of different sort of experiments and things that you know, are interesting. Okay, so this one, I'll hold on to that. More uh, Spanish um, language books. This one is so old. I think my husband gave this one to me a long time ago. It's more like a dictionary type thing. This is old. This, I remember, was like a popular book. Book of questions. A long time ago. It just has certain kind of weird questions. I was looking at this the other day. Questions are sort of not exactly relevant anymore, but I'm sure some of them are, but... Let's see, which of the following restrictions could you best tolerate? Leaving the country permanently, or never leaving the state in which you now live? Hmm, see, it's like kind of the opposite. For a person you loved deeply, would you be willing to move to a distant country knowing there would be little chance of seeing your friends or family again? So, well, I'm not sure if I want to keep this one. It's kind of just collecting dust. It's hard for me to get rid of these things. More Stephen King. This one's just after sunset. I know I've shown a lot of my Stephen King already. Okay. I think this one's my favorite Stephen King book, Insomnia. It's very long. Let's see how long many pages this one is, but I read the entire thing a long, long time ago, and this one I could not put down. I just read it all the way through. I really liked this one. Maybe I'll read it again. It's so uh, dirty, but... I love it. It's strange to think that I was actually able to read a whole book like this. <laughs> I read that a long time ago. Okay, this is Courage Under Fire. This one's a movie. And this one I don't think is mine. I don't know where I got it. <laughs> I didn't read it. I think I saw the movie when it came out. So this one I'll get rid of. I don't have any interest in um, ever reading that one. Here we have Dean Koontz. This is another one. Um, let's see, this one is called Dragon Tears. I 
I'm not sure if I read this one or a different Dean Koontz book, but that whichever one I did read, I couldn't put it down. It was like I, I had to know what was going to happen next. It was one of those types of stories. So this I'll keep. Okay. Another fiction book. And I have these little, um, children's books. I have a Frankenstein. I bought these and I really don't remember why. <laughs> Mr. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Okay. They're just shorter... Order books. Those I will keep. Here's a true crime. My mother gives these to me, but I never read them. I do like the true crime topic, um, but I don't usually read the books. Uh, so these I will get rid of these. one about volcanoes. I think I got this one. Uh, maybe I got it at five below or something like that. I wanted to do a sort of informative video on volcanoes. But I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I thought it would be nice to have a look at the pictures. I'm not sure exactly how I want to do this one. Okay. And this one is um, a book uh, that's kind of like a travel book. It's all the different places to visit in Mexico. Different destinations and just tells you all about the different areas and this one. here, not sure what that is. I've been to just a couple different places in Mexico, but there's so much more to see there. Okay. Maybe one day we can go through that one. And, let's see, another true crime. Um, this one, these are all ones that my mother had given me. This is about accounting. Um, the five essential people skills. Another one my mom read and gave to me. It's all about shipwrecks. I think the kids maybe brought this one home. It might be cool to take a look at all of the different history of different shipwrecks. Enduring questions. This one I think my mom gave me too. Sort of like a philosophy themed book. Have to decide on that one. Just a few 
few more here. Twilight. I'm sure many of you know this one. That was a popular movie. I actually did not enjoy this. I didn't enjoy the book or the movie. I don't know why. I just didn't. I don't know. So this I, uh, it's all beat up. So I don't know if anyone will want to even take this as a donation or not. It's in pretty bad shape. We'll see about that. And a lot of these books I just got to kind of use as props in videos, so I'm just going to get rid of a lot of these here. Girl Interrupted. I don't know where I got this one, but I saw the movie. The movie was very good. I don't know if I'll read the book or not. And another that I only got to use in a video, so. Now I think we'll uh, move on to sort of organizing these books onto the bookshelf. Okay. Alright, so I'm just um, going to start kind of figuring out where I want to put all of these books. Okay, so I think I will put all of the fiction up here and the textbooks and things like that. I'll put these on the bottom and then I'll move them around as needed. Okay. Okay, so here's a textbook. I'll put those together down there. Okay, so here's the um, personality test. I guess I'll put that down there. And then I'll arrange them in a more, you know, a nicer arrangement after. Okay, my stretching. Uh, let's see, this one should go here. rid of this one, this 
There we go, the big textbooks can sort of be like bookends. Okay. okay, let's see. The electrical codes. I think I saved this one to maybe use in a video too, so I'll put that one to the side. size book. I'm sure I don't really need that, but okay, this one we'll have to get rid of here. The fundamentals for success so I will keep. Possibly used in a video. Okay, and the diagnostic test Little C 
two sisms the the Sherlock Holmes uh -huh, let's see these ones here you enjoyed watching me organize and clean my bookshelf a little bit. Okay. And thank you so much for watching. <laughs>